decisions and my uh, I have dreams along with my gift. I have well, for two days before my aunt passed away. It was about January, um, middle of January. I went. To, I watched her fell asleep watching the movie, and I woke up and I was in hellfire. I seen a a love Hitler. I seen pastors. I seen Christians. I seen all kinds of people in hell. Okay, um, this specific, you know, there's a specific purpose why I was here in hell fire so hell fire really does exist uh there was preachers in there that uh wrongfully misled preaching i seen women that was uh looking for their babies looking for their children um people walking around thinking in denial they wasn't even dead um so it's it's hell is a very real place um you do not want to go to hell um, so I advise Christian, you know, I advise you to um, repent of your sins. I repent every day because this place in particular, and there's there is pastors that think that I made that up. I did not make because it wasn't biblical. I did not make that up. Okay, the purpose of me being there was because my aunt Barbara that passed away, uh, she held a grudge against my cousin because her son and her and my cousin Cody got. Stephen got really hurt in a um, four-wheeler four -wheeler accident, and he didn't get to jump off, and he hit a telephone pole on a on a gravel road. Well, he had to, he is now handicapped because of that an, a, incident. Well, for so many years, my aunt would blame and hate on my cousin Cody. Well, I was sent to hell to te get, deliver a message that you cannot enter into, enter into the internal rest until you go into your heart that you forgive Cody for that because you can't hold grudges well pastors they they argue with me I said look I, I don't you can call it any time anything you want to do not do not attack me I'm the messenger okay that's what I was told that's what I was you know I, I have I have have believe it myself but that's what happened to me when I woke up from coming from that dream or vision or whatever, I had I jumped in in the shower and I could not get it cold enough. I could not get the water cold enough. I was screaming, I was crying, I was repenting to God. Please do not send me back to that horrible place. I I, I refused. I do not want to go back. I said no. I said God, please. And I I ask Him every day. Do not send me back to hell. That is a real. Pl that is one place that you do not want to go. It is real. Hell is real. Don't go there.